Welcome to the 2009 ITP Towers Moose Racing AMA ATV Motocross Championship Series presented by Parts Unlimited. And for the opener, the Pro Riders showed up at Glen Helen in San Bernardino, California to chase the coveted AMA Pro ATV Championship. Glen Helen starts a spectacular championship tour that will stretch from coast to coast and feature the best riders and the most well-funded factory teams in the history of ATV racing. They were all out in force in front of the big brass of Southern California to show what kind of work they had put in, in the offseason in their search for this championship. We'll be there covering it all year long. In our first Moto Sode, let's talk about Glen Helen and what these riders thought of the new season. Expectations are to stay really healthy and uh, don't get too overconfident and be really humble and really just have some fun and putting on a good show is what I'm all about. And, of course, go out and uh, get that overall championship this year, and I think I'm about due. I've been out here for the last past month riding and putting a bunch of good laps in and getting the bike tuned in, so looking forward to the start of the year. I'm really excited with uh, Team KNM and, and uh, my teammate Cody Miller. I think we're going to be uh, right up front all year long. Got training early and uh, got uh, my teams all went down to Florida, got some uh, land down there, started training real early and things going real good. Bikes are set up, running good, handling good, we're ready. I feel I'm in better shape um, and my expectations for this year is uh, win the championship. I, you know, I got something to prove still and um, I don't feel any older so uh, you know, I'm going to give her 125%. Right now I'd say I feel better than I ever have so I think uh, me and Kawasaki got a real good chance of getting that championship this year. I changed my number this year, I uh, went back to 99. Uh, back when I raced Pro-Am, I always uh, ran 99 and uh, always won championships with 99, so I'm looking to uh, hopefully bring that back this year and uh, bring back that championship number, so 99 it is. Superstitions aside, it was time to go racing. All the preseason speculation and conjecture would come to an end as soon as the gate would drop for the first moto at Glen Helen. A lot of riders expected to do well this year, and it all started off with the green machine on the inside, the number nine of Josh Kramer grabbing the first hole shot of the season. Kramer on the inside holds off rookie DeNoble to hold on to the number one spot. Not a bad start for DeNoble, but he had to admit that that pressure of running up front early would get to him later in the race. Meanwhile, veterans Doug Gust and Rich Pelchat tied up in turn number one allows Kramer and Joe Bird to set sail out front. Bird, two-time series champ, was pressuring Kramer hard early, while one of the young guns, Josh Upperman, was there in the number three spot. Before long, that big red number one plate of Dustin Wimber would make his appearance toward the front of the pack. Upperman coming down the big downhill in third, and here comes Wimmer on the comeback trail after a mid-pack start on his rock star, Yoshimura Suzuki. A huge battle developed in the middle of the pack. Clay Holmes, John Atali, Chad Weenan, DeNoble, Russ Shoemaker, Jeremy Lawson, Brown on this new number 99, Brandon Smith and Greg G all tussling just outside of the podium positions. But out front, Kramer on that monster Kawasaki continued to fly. The pressure was on Upperman to hold off the champ for third, and with an inside-outside line, the number one rider was into the number three spot. But Wimmer was not done. He would eventually displace Bird for second, and then go after Kramer for the lead. Inside line on a double, just could not get his machine over it, and Kramer able to hold the lead. Now back downhill, Wimmer putting as much pressure as he could humanly apply to Kramer, but a nice line by the Kawasaki rider on the inside. He's able to hold the lead, and Wimmer on the long way around loses his last opportunity to take over the number one spot. Give credit to the man from New England for holding up under the pressure of the champ all the way down to the checkered flag. Wimmer never let up, but Kramer never relinquished the lead, winning the first motor of the season from wire to wire. A very happy Josh Kramer starts the year off right for Kawasaki. Wimmer and Bird round out the top three. There's your results from the very first moto of the season. Expect to see all 10 of those riders in contention for race wins this year. On to Moto2. The pressure is on Wimmer to get a better start this time and get around Kramer early instead of having to fight him in the latter stages of the moto. 30-second board sideways, and into the long Talladega first turn we go. This time, though, Wimmer got the start, and by the end of lap one, he was already out front and setting sail in 2009, just like he did in 2008. 
There was simply no challenging or stopping the champ in this one. Joe Bird did his best in second to keep him honest, while Creamer had to work his way through to the number three spot. Just like in Moto 1, a huge pack battle behind the podium finishers, Clay Holmes, Nick DeNoble, there's Shoemaker Little on Kawasaki's, Jeremy Lawson on a Can-Am, all swapping spots. And that was the battle to watch as Wimmer began to distance himself from Bird and Kramer. The middle of the pack action was where the action was. Wait till you see this. Have you ever seen this many riders on one section of racetrack at the same time? Eight, count them, eight riders drag racing up the huge Glen Helen uphills. One rider would emerge from the pack to challenge for a podium position in the moto. As Wimmer continued to ride the track like it was his own backyard, and Bird did his best to keep Wimmer honest, Kramer came under pressure from 2005 series champ John Natale on his Warner Racing Can-Am. Natale doing everything he can to get the horsepower to the ground and beat the Kawasaki uphill. It was a phenomenal battle for third that had the Glen Helen crowd on their feet until the Iron Man was undone by a rubber tire that had gone flat. Checkered flag is out. Dustin Wimmer wins the moto and the overall. The defending series champ serving notice that he will be harder to beat than ever in 2009. Kramer and Bird round out the podium. Well done by the rookies Brown and Holmes to finish inside the top five. I'm here with Dustin Wimmer. Dustin, you just pulled off a start to finish win. How did you feel? Felt great. I went out there at second moto, pulled the whole shot, and uh, never looked back. Just got a good consistent uh, lead and. Um, Ran a consistent race. Second motor, I didn't quite get the start that I wanted to, but uh, made a couple quick passes, got myself in third place, and just kind of rode steady there and ended up with second overall. You played it safe, but you really pulled it out. You got the second, and that's a good start for the season. Yeah, it's a hell of a start for the season. We're looking for some good racing this year. I think it's going to be uh, a really good year, one that uh, we haven't seen before. Yeah, everything felt really good. Got a good start, good strong motor, and uh, got the suspension working pretty good, and uh, good tires underneath us. So just missed it by a little bit, but uh, that's what we're going racing for. Bird's happy with a good, consistent run. One rider not happy with his Glen Helen performance. Wide open Chad Weenan, fourth in Moto 1, a DNF in Moto 2. He'll have some ground to make up. And it begins with the next race, March 22nd, Pell City, Alabama, at Mill Creek Raceway. Should be a good one. Our next Moto Sode comes next week, Wednesday, March 18th, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with a spotlight on the rookies who rode strong at Glen Helen. That's it for our first race of the year. I'm Jason Wigand. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned to us all year long. We got the truck here on time, and it was clean, <laughs> and everything went real well. The weather held off good, and the mountains are pretty. Thank you.